in the book of Ezra, chapters 1 through 3. In the first year of Koresh, sovereign of Persia, that the word of Yehovah by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished, Yehovah stirred up the spirit of Koresh, sovereign of Persia, to proclaim throughout all his reign and also in writing, saying, Thus said Koresh, sovereign of Persia, Yehovah, Elohim of the heavens, has given me all the reins of the earth, and he has commanded me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Yehuda, who is among you of all his people. His Elohim be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Yehuda, and build the house of Yehovah, Elohim of Israel. He is Elohim which is in Jerusalem, And whoever is left from all the places where he sojourns, let the men of his place help him with silver and gold, with goods and livestock, besides the voluntary offerings for the house of Elohim, which is in Jerusalem, And the heads of the fathers' houses of Yehuda and Binyamin and the priests and the Levites with all those whose spirits Elohim had stirred up, rose up to go and build the house of Yehovah, which is in Jerusalem, And all those around about them strengthened their hands with objects of silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with valuables, besides all that was voluntarily offered. And Sovereign Koresh, brought out the utensils of the house of Yehovah, which Nebuchadnezzar had taken from Jerusalem, and put in the house of his mighty ones. And Koresh, sovereign of Persia, brought them out by the hand of Mithradath, the treasurer, and counted them out to Sheshbatzar, the leader of Yehuda. And this was their number. 30 gold dishes, 1,000 silver dishes, 29 knives, 30 gold basins. Next, 410 silver basins, 1,000 other utensils. All the utensils of gold and silver were 5,400. Sheshbatzar took all of them with the exiles who were brought from Babel to Jerusalem. Chapter 2. And these are the sons of the province who came back from the captivity of the exiles, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the sovereign of Babel, had exiled to Babel, and who returned to Jerusalem and Yehuda, each one to his own city, who came with Zerubbabel, Yeshua, Nehemiah, Sariah, Re'eliah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvai, Rehum, Ba'ana, the number of the men of the people of Israel, sons of Parosh, 2,172, sons of Shephatiah, 372, sons of Arah, 775, sons of Pahath Moab, of the sons of Yeshua and Yoab, 2,812. Sons of Elam, 1,254. Sons of Zatu, 945. Sons of Zakai, 760. Sons of Benai, 642. Sons of Bibai, 623. Sons of Asgad, 1,222. Sons of Adonai Kram, 666. Sons of Bigvai, 2056. Sons of Adin, 454. Sons of Atar of Hizkiah, 98. Sons of Betsai, 323. Sons of Yorah, 112. Sons of Hashum, 223. Sons of Gabar, 95. Sons of Bethlehem, 123. Men of Netophah, 56. Men of Anathoth, 128. Sons of Asmaveth, 42. Sons of Kiriath-Arim, 
Kefara and Be'ara, 743. Sons of Ramah and Geba, 621. Men of Mikmas, 122. Men of Beth El and Ai, 223. Sons of Nebo, 52. Sons of Makbish, 156. Sons of the other Elam, 1,254. Sons of Harim, 320. Sons of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. Sons of Yerahol, 345. Sons of Sena'a, 3,630. The priests. Sons of Yeriah, of the house of Yeshua, 973. Sons of Emor, 1,052. Sons of Pashur, 1,247. Sons of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, sons of Yeshua and Kadmiel, of the sons of Hodaviah, 74. The singers, sons of Asaph, 128. Sons of the gatekeepers, sons of Shalom, sons of Ator, sons of Talmon, sons of Akub, sons of Hatita, sons of Shobai, 139 in all. The Nethnim, sons of Isa, sons of Hasupa, sons of Tabao, sons of Keros, sons of Se'aha, sons of Padan, sons of Lebana, sons of Hagabah, sons of Akwab, sons of Hagab, sons of Shamlai, sons of Hanan, sons of Gadel, sons of Gahur, sons of Re'ayah, Sons of Retzin, sons of Nakoda, sons of Gazam, sons of Uza, sons of Pasya, sons of Besai, sons of Asna, sons of Maonim, sons of Nehusim, sons of Bachbuk, sons of Hakufa, sons of Hahor, sons of Batsubut, sons of Nahida, sons of Harsha, sons of Bakos, sons of Sisera, Sons of Tama, sons of Netziah, sons of Hatifa, sons of Shalomo's servants, sons of Sotai, sons of Sophoreth, sons of Peruda, sons of Ya'ala, sons of Darkon, sons of Gedel, sons of Shephatya, sons of Hatiel, sons of Pokereth, of Tespaim, sons of Ami. All the Nethanim and the children of Shlomo's servants were 392. And these were those who came up from Tel Malah, Tel Hasha, Karub, Adan, Emor, but they were unable to show their father's house and their seed whether they were of Israel. The sons of Deliah, sons of Tobiah, Sons of Nakoda, 652. And as of the sons of the priests, sons of Habia, sons of Kotz, sons of Barzillai, who took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai, the Giladite, and was called by their name. These sought their register among those who were counted by genealogy, but they were not found. So they were barred from the priesthood as defiled. And the governor said to them that they should not eat of the most set apart gifts until there stood up a priest with the Orem and Tumim. The entire assembly was 42,360, besides their male and female servants. These were 7,337. They also had 200 men and women singers. Their horses were 736. Their mules, 245. Their camels, 435. 
for donkeys, 6,720. And some of the heads of the father's houses, when they came to the house of Yehovah, which is in Yerushalayim, offered voluntarily for the house of Elohim to establish it in its place. They gave according to their ability to the treasury for the work. 61,000 gold derricks and 5,000 minas of silver and 100 priestly garments. And the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the gatekeepers and the Nethinim dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their cities. Chapter 3. Now, when the seventh new moon came and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered as one man to Yerushalayim. And Yeshua, son of Yotzadak, and his brothers, the priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Sheth Atiel, and his brothers, arose and built the slaughter place of the Elohim of Israel to offer ascending offerings on it, as it is written in the Torah of Moshe, the man of Elohim. So they set the slaughter place on its stands being afraid of the peoples of the lands. And they offered ascending offerings on it to Yehovah, both the morning and the evening ascending offerings. And they performed the festival of Sukkot, as it is written, and the daily ascending offerings by number according to the right ruling for each day. And afterward, the continual ascending offering and those for new moons and for all the appointed times of Yehovah that were set apart, also for everyone who volunteered a voluntary offering to Yehovah. From the first day of the seventh new moon, they began to offer ascending offerings to Yehovah, but the foundation of the Hakal of Yehovah had not been laid. And they gave silver to the stonemasons and the carpenters, and food and drink and oil to the people of Sidon and Sor to bring cedar logs from Lebanon to the sea at Yafo, according to permission which they had from Koresh, sovereign of Persia. And in the second new moon of the second year of their coming to the house of Elohim to Yerushalayim, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Yeshua, son of Yotzadah, and the rest of their brothers, the priests and the Levites, and all those who had come out of the captivity to Yerushalayim, began, and they appointed the Levites from 20 years old and above to oversee the work of the house of Yehovah. And Yeshua stood up, his sons and his brothers, Kadmiel with his sons, the sons of Yehuda, together to oversee those working on the house of Elohim. The sons of Hanadad with their sons and their brothers, the Levites. And when the builders laid the foundation of the Hakal of Yehovah. They appointed the priests in their robes with trumpets and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals to praise Yehovah after the order of David, sovereign of Israel. And they responded by praising and giving thanks to Yehovah. For he is good, for his loving commitment towards Israel is forever. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised Yehovah, because the foundation of the house of Yehovah was laid. And many of the priests and Levites and heads of the father's houses, the old men who had seen the first house, wept with a loud voice when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, and many shouted aloud for joy, and the people could not distinguish the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the sound was heard far away.